How are you guys? This is IBU Learning, the place to develop your CAD BIM skills. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set by default Revit to metric or imperial system to just come exactly what you require to work on. So here we go. I have here a, a Revit 2022 open and just I will go to new tab and just I will see what is going to be open. Suppose if you choose architectural template, okay, I'm not going to change anything here and you can choose OK to open new project. Okay, so I have new project here. And I can see a scale is showing 1 is 200. Okay, level 0 plan is open by default. And if you go to check the unit, type command EUN, or you can go in the minus tab and you can see project unit. So here you can see area is meter square and length in mm. So this is metric system. If you require metric system, then this is perfect to work on. Okay. If you require metric and it's showing that imperial like inch and feet. So you have to go in the same unit, project unit, and you have to change this again and again. So this is that's why I, it's came in my mind to I can show you how you can update it. To come exactly what you want so now if this is uh, if you need imperial system because now this is showing the metric so I'll show you exactly how you can get it now I'm just going to close this and I'll go again to the new tab just I'll suggest you to go to the browse okay and choose here this is English. This all is showing that metric system. If you go back and choose from Imperial, you can see here English Imperial and you can choose this from here. Okay, if you go to default and try to open this. Okay, I will show you another way also to set up completely this one. This is going to be open Imperial and you can work here in inch and feet. All the scales and setting is here as per imperial system. And if you will go to the unit also, you can see this a square feet area is showing a square feet and length is showing in inch feet and inch. Okay, so this is another way. Now, if you will go to file and option and then go to file location. And just move this location project template and you can hover over anywhere like a construction template then architecture all your template whatever you are opening the project and showing all is showing here so if I will go to architectural template and then you can click here it will directly take you to the path of that folder file so you can see this is showing English default so whenever I am opening the Revit and choosing the architectural it is giving me this time yeah architectural metric system default this file this template but if I will change this one to English Imperial and default okay and you can update same to others also if you need now I have to work on the architectural I mean always I am going to work on architectural so I just change this and I save okay now again one more time I will go to close this and I will go to open the new project 
I will just choose from here architectural because just we updated architectural and before my system was always using the metric system now I just updated and I will see what is happening here now you can see whenever you will open it will be automatically so imperial system so the if you are working on the metric system and your system is showing imperial always so the same way you can go and update it to now I have I will go and I will change from imperial to metric again and this is finished now here you change the project unit system now if I will go to again file go to option and again go to file location here you can see it's showing the family template default path for family template file you can change the family template also now it's showing English if you will go back and this is you can change English Imperial so if you have English Imperial you can change it to English it is the metric system and if you have metric system and if you need to work on Imperial system okay so you can change it to default to this system and then change it to OK and I click OK to save and close Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for upcoming videos. Thank you.